Hey folks, Rob here. Welcome back to the Progressive Web App Summit. We are here in the uh, speaker sort of green room area where everyone's chilling. I'm here with uh, Tao Tran. Tao, uh, you just gave a talk uh, here at the summit about sort of like the, the business impact of Progressive Web Apps. And I'm sort of wondering, um, can you just maybe maybe for the folks out there who, who are, are new to the concepts around PWAs, like uh, what, are, what are some interesting reasons why a business would, would want to, to focus on this architecture approach? So in the talk, I covered a lot about kind of reach and acquisition and, and converting users. And in particular, um, we talked about a, an app or a web app called Cilio. And when they, what they did was when they were trying to bring in new users to their newly built progressive web app, they found that bringing in users to the web app was actually 10 times cheaper than bringing users into the native app. So if you have a huge reach and it costs you uh, a lot less to bring in new users and you're able to convert them, I think the math starts working out really well. And, and so maybe uh, you know, businesses come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. Maybe if I'm a, a small, scrappy startup, it might be easy for me to move in this direction. But uh, you know, or maybe if I already have an existing product or I'm a larger business, like, is, is it, is it going to be easy for me to transition to being a, a progressive web app? Or is there some strategies that I can employ to, to get to that place? So I think one of the things that we really wanted to emphasize today and then going forward is that there's a different path for building a progressive web app for everybody. Um, there are be companies who want to start from the ground up, so they have the luxury of building from scratch. But if you need to kind of start, you can focus on a single feature like push notifications or build a simple prototype version of your site to see um, how you know what it feels like and how you can start kind of playing around with service workers. I, I think we don't want to say, OK, unless you're able to you know, go, from, f go from the ground up or build from scratch, um, it's not worth doing a progressive web app. That's absolutely not the case. And so uh, for those businesses that maybe want to want to learn more about this, where's like a, a good resource? Where's like one place they can go to just start seeing you know, how, to, how, to, how to get on this, uh, this, this approach? So I think most folks will probably go to a lot of the different videos um, and, and hear the talks again. Uh, but I highly recommend, especially if you're trying to make the case to like management or folks on your team, um, the showcase section of developers.google.com slash web is a great place to start. There's tons of case studies and stats and metrics um, that are shareable. Cool. So we can, we can link to that down in the, uh, the show notes. Uh, Tao, thank you so much for, for being with us today and chatting with us. Uh, if you want to catch Tao's talk, it is available on the Chrome Developers YouTube channel. We have a whole playlist there for all of the uh, Progressive Web App Summit talks. Uh, I'm Rob Dodson, coming at you live from beautiful, sunny Amsterdam. Uh, thanks for staying with us.